Mduduzi Manana released a statement on his voluntary resignation, saying his assault conviction should not be used to advance political ends, and that he's now dedicating himself to eliminating the scourge of gender-based violence. He also pledged to donate a substantial portion of his pension to NGOs working to support and uplift victims of domestic violence as well as sanitary pads for girls. The ANC caucus in Parliament responded by saying he is a man who has shown true remorse for his actions, but added he can't buy his way out of accountability. We applaud his undertaking to um, give a portion of his pension to victims of gender-based violence, um, but we also are of the view that over and above um, just donating money, there needs to be serious, active campaign work that he's done on his part as well to show indeed that he is involved in the struggle against gender-based violence, as this is something that we take very serious um, as the African National Congress. What you're seeing here is treachery dressed up as high principle. If he was that uh, honourable, he would have resigned the moment the court had found him guilty of the assault way back in September 2017. Mduduzi Manana resigned just hours before he was due to appear before a disciplinary inquiry held by Parliament's Ethics Committee, this following his assault conviction last year. Mr Manana was aware <coughs> that this case is going to be held on the 25th of July. And for him to resign the a day before, I think it's anybody's guess why one would do that. Mr. Manana was already convicted of abuse almost 255 days ago. It's almost an entire year. So I think his actions to resign on the eve of his disciplinary hearing at Parliament is not indicative of a person showing real remorse or real regret for his actions. Members of the committee were flown in from their various constituencies around the country to host Manana's disciplinary hearing, but only received notice of his resignation half an hour before it was due to start. Legal opinion is being sought on whether Manana should now reimburse Parliament for the MPs' unnecessary flights. What next for Mduduzi Manana? Well, opposition MPs want to know whether he'll face any sort of discipline from the ruling party or whether he'll be redeployed to Lutuli House as he is a senior member of its National Executive Committee. Anna Kalasen, Parliament.